so for power building, a lot of people are like, can it be done? Well, anything can be done. So the way I look at power building is we still have our compound lifts, which is the power lifting lifts or the compound lifts in there. And I'm gonna keep the volume uh, on the little bit of the lower end. So we're doing sets of five and we'll eventually work down to heavy doubles or singles towards the end of this. Uh, but for right now, I'm doing three sets of five and then I'll progressively overload that movement over time. And then we'll increase the intensity, decrease the volume. So that's how I keep the power lifting involved in there. And by doing the compound lifts and their variations. And then the bodybuilding side of things is gonna be, we're gonna be doing um, a lot of supersets. And I like supersets one because it keeps my heart rate up and it's gonna allow me to get a lot of work in a short amount of time. I'm a very busy guy right now. I probably have an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to train. So instead of doing all these movements as their own individual sets, I like to put antagonistic muscle groups together. So today, since it's upper day, with a chest and back focus, we're gonna be doing a chest movement with an antagonistic back movement. And we'll go back and forth between those two. Uh, so we're killing a couple birds with a, a couple, one stone, a couple stones. We're killing birds. That's five. Keep counting. I highly recommend don't get tightened benches because as I was benching, I just felt like creaks and cracks and I couldn't keep track of my reps because I was too worried that I was going to break the bench. Whew. Some stuff on Titan, I hate. Some stuff is fine. I hate these benches. Sure never bought them. What are we going to do? We got to use them. So. I was 325, set of five. I think I got one more in me, 335 for a set of five, and then we'll move on. Hmm. I've been wearing 3XL shirts, so no one knows if I've lost any gains or not. It's like, you don't know if you're big or if you're small. I like to keep them thinking, I like to be mysterious. Keep it there, 335, set of five, RP eight. And now we're gonna move on to our supersets. Moving on to uh, my superset. So I have an incline uh, chest press and then I have a dumbbell row. But I wanna introduce my man Kobe. Kobe's over here. Kobe uh, is a master when it comes to the camera as well. So he does a lot of, I don't know, what do you do? Just a lot of sports filming and um, photography around the area. So yeah, that's basically what I do. And he's a college lacrosse player. I actually trained his younger brothers at high school, but he's gonna be kicking with me all summer. Uh, and we're basically gonna transform this guy into an absolute unit. So hopefully we'll get him in on the video, show his transformation. Um, so this is actually gonna be a tip for him, but I figured we could do it on the camera. So a lot of times when people do dumbbell row, okay, they shrug using their shoulder and trap, and they pull up high towards almost like their face or their shoulder, okay? Um, and it's easy to do that and put a lot of weight up and use a lot of body English, right, to crank them out. Uh, they don't know any better, but if we're looking for actual hypertrophy gains and utilizing the muscle properly, what I like to do is let my arm completely hang low, and when I drive, I almost drive my elbow back slightly towards my hip pocket here, all right? So we control that eccentric, we let the, the arm lengthen here at the bottom, and we row up just like so, slightly on a backward angle. I guarantee you, if you guys are doing it with uh, the first way I showed it, and you switch it to this way, you're gonna feel it a lot more in your back and utilizing the muscle the way we're trying to use it versus putting up a ton of weight, doing a ton of reps, and essentially it kind of is just like, it's kind of just garbage in my opinion. So that was more for a tip for him, but I feel like some of you guys could benefit from it. So now I'm gonna get into my incline uh, dumbbell chest press and dumbbell row superset. Saved me some time, get in a lot of volume, more bodybuilding style stuff. 
and uh, let's get to it. So my training has been absolute dog poop lately. Coming clean about it. I uh, been all over the place in my schedule, uh, coaching lacrosse, trying to get an app launched. So for me, I'm in survival mode. I'm just trying to get in a couple sessions during the week leading up to this point, because now we're on a structured program. Uh, but it just goes to show you like, I'm just like you guys. You know, when, when life gets kind of crazy, our main focus is just getting in what we can. Sometimes less is more in that aspect uh, because of the external stressors and our busy schedule. So I was probably training three, maybe four times a week, uh, which was really good for me. And now I'm training about four to five times per week. I have a set program, something I can follow, something that's manageable for my schedule. So you have to kind of adapt accordingly to what's going on in your life. Um, I don't really know where my numbers are at. Don't really have many future goals. And, and really I'm just focusing on like, you know, uh, getting good quality sessions in, uh, feeling good, being able to move a little bit better, and now I have a little bit more time than I did in the past because stuff like the cross is over. Uh, so I can focus a little bit more on my training and we'll see. All right, so right now we have our super set of chest flies and uh, the lat pull down. Now for this day, we primarily are focusing obviously on chest and back, but I have a little bit more emphasis on chest. And then the second upper day, I switched the movements to be a little bit more emphasized to back. So we're doing pull downs today. Uh, the next workout we do is gonna be uh, like barbell rows, um, some different row variations as well. Uh, but if you guys are training with me on the app, you guys will follow along and kind of see how I'm structuring it. Um, when I'm doing the chest flies specifically, I, I get a lot of questions on like how high or how low should the cables be. And that's really personal preference on where you feel like you get the best stimulus. Um, for me, I like to be a little bit higher. And uh, for some whatever reason, I just feel that better in my chest. I have done the low cable uh, flies before, but I don't really get much of a chest stimulus from those. However, you may, so figure out what works for you. Uh, when I'm doing a lot pull down, something I'm really trying to think about is getting the bar to come all the way down to touch my chest or my clavicle, getting that full range of motion up top. And something that helps me really engage uh, my back is thinking about locking out my elbows at the top and then uh, really trying to get a full stretch and pull all the way back down. Sometimes people keep their elbows bent slightly. So if you guys are all about full range of motion, locking those elbows out of top, getting your, getting basically the machine to kind of almost stretch you uh, all the way at the top end of the range of motion is gonna be more beneficial for long-term uh, muscle gains and growth. So pretty much wrapping it up with these two. Uh, I'll do a little bit of tricep work and then maybe some rear delts. That's kind of all we have for today, but that just shows you how we have our main compound lift with sets of five. So a little bit in the lower end of the volume range there, focusing a little bit on strength. And then from there, we have our accessory supersets. It's gonna be higher volume. Uh, and that's kind of how we mix in the power building type theme we have going on. Uh, also on Wednesdays, what I've been doing is a little bit more athletic style training, doing a little bit of Olympic lifts, uh, as well as moving in different movement or planes of motion uh, to just feel better and overall like what I define better and from where I'm at my current state of physique. Um, so been doing that. So I'm training for a total of five days this week and I've been putting up what I do on Wednesdays, the conditioning routines or uh, my total routine on Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will be able to, to throw those in as well whenever you want. Uh, but for me, that's like my athletic training day. So that's pretty much all we got. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can try this training session out. Like I said, doing the Train With Me program, which is on my app, uh, zashrank.programs.app, link down below. Uh, you guys can subscribe to it. There's 14 other programs there. I'm putting out programs pretty much on a monthly basis or even on a weekly basis when I come up with cool ideas that I think you guys will benefit from. Uh, so really appreciate your support and checking out the app. It's really cheap for all the quality you get. I'm also trying to put courses on there. So like when we're talking in-depth program tutorials, nutrition stuff, training, whatever, we'll have courses available on that as well. So kind of a really cool hub for content. There's also zastrank.net, which has all our articles written by Coach Matt, who's our fitness editor. And it also has the programs a la carte that we've been selling for the last couple of years. So if you guys just want a program template, don't want to subscribe, we have the best of both worlds there. And uh, we just appreciate any support that you guys uh, can give us by subscribing, 
liking the channel, all that good stuff. Following us on social media means the absolute world. Uh, but that's all we have for today, guys. So looking forward to more content, more collaborations, helping you guys out along your journeys. But until then, guys, stay in the Lean Mean Strength Machine. Peace.